Okay, folks, freeze this in your memory, okay? It's being black, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, which is very rare, but they must be keeping a real close eye on it. Uh, no matter what, your eyes won't fool with you. You see what you see, you see longitude, latitude, okay? And we love, I, at least I do, I've, I found this, so there's an address there if you want to use this for longitude, latitude, and other stuff to go look for. Now, what I'm going to do is take you, show you what it looks like today. You're going to see this thing is going to blow its ass off because now this is your image that you've seen that I was able to see yesterday on the video that I'm uploading now I don't know what I'll basically put pre probably pressure on or something I'll probably put the name that I had on it I'll even go to the window I uploaded it started to upload it walked away and didn't upload so re-uploading it today I'm going to take you to some footage but first this is going to freak you out because look at this and then you'll come back to look at this okay and I'm going to show you a fresh shot for a day I'm going to make a little joke. Who needs a condom? Because I'll tell you what, this thing is going to blow its ass off. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't matter if someone imposed this. Uh, it really looks like natural pressure. Because this is today. This is Sunday Central Time here. And I'm going to take you real back, real quick to look at the... And your eyes don't deceive you, okay? This is that much pressure. Now, is it like dough, bread dough rising every once in a while? And then, and if it is... I don't know. Everybody's got to get their ass down. I mean, that's Earth, folks. This is Earth, okay? And whether this is a satellite that's been imposed fresh over top of this shot here, or if it's just a whole bunch of pixels squared away, it's rare for uh, Google Earth to refresh that fast, unless with all the conditions that we got going on, maybe they are all over the world refreshing the satellites as much as they can on the shots and times, okay? So let's take another look back at reality. And that reality is right here in a real player here. I mean, I should I'm not gonna advertise, so anyway. Anyway, no ad not advertising. But hey, if they want to send some uh non profit money here this way, hey, wide open. So anyway, uh libraries, kids, non profit. So for truth, okay, so here you go. Your eyes don't deceive you and we'll go back to reality. So this is today, and then I can just blow this up a little bit, you know, like blow up the screen a little bit. So no matter what, she's going to blow. Okay, and who knows how much more it's going to build before it does blow. Now let's go look at some footage over there of the dark stars and stuff like that, and hopefully maybe I'll get time for to go into uh, the video that, um, let me go t show you that. So more than likely the one I did last night that didn't upload, see, failed upload, I will go ahead and put the same name on that, flop. Dark Stars, Beano Black, okay? And I'll put it on. Basically, it's going to have this in it. It's going to have the factuality, okay, that this is today. I mean, this isn't today. This was like yesterday. And here I will give you another Google shot of... Uh, here, I'll go to full screen on this. I don't know if it bloated up anymore. Exit full screen. Yeah. So anyways, you get the same look. So check it out, no matter what totally different today okay pressure sure looks like it's gonna blow don't look like cake bake to me and it just popped in a dutch i want to tell him thanks but anyway it was a little bit worse earlier this is refreshed this was all reddish up here but i'm not i'm trying to read yeah white is even worse so it's gotten worse than what dutch originally said so we're going to see some activity, definitely, because on the drop of all this pressure, or yeah, on the continued build of it, or worse, there's something that's going to dramatically happen somewhere. It's just inevitable. It's space, and it's been active. You know, I mean, we're always active, but we had a 4.6. At least that's what it was a minute ago. 4.6 was up there, so they must have took two ticks off of that, because that 4.4 was a 4.6 a few minutes ago. And then we got this 2.8 when I refreshed, and then there was some stuff over here at like 4.7, I think, was before that. So, a top high, and then let's go look at what we got for actual black uh, stars way out in space, uh, twirling. So now you'll get footage here of this Japan quake thing going on, and it's just basically erupting, of course. And it's, remember, they're a day ahead of us, a timeline change and stuff like that. Well, I don't think of much difference. That's when the international timeline's always been over there. So the idea that the days usually begin up there just with the clock, international clocks over in, uh, somewhere over in Asia. 
I could be wrong about that, but that doesn't really seem to be wrong because when we're the mm, yeah, when it's the twenty sixth, it's usually the twenty seventh over there. International timelines past Hawaii somewhere between there and the Philippines. Or the Philippines in Asia or something like that. Okay, so we get all these dark stars that we have deep out in space and you can see them moving around. Okay? You can't miss them. Okay? And then in the evening also, afternoon anyway, late afternoon, the sun has these stars, asteroid belt or something up in front of it, in front of the sun, as you can't miss it here. Now there is clouds, but as you see that there's also dark stars, constellation, or asteroid belt between us and the sun right over here, okay? And all this stuff, and you, you never see clouds like this, okay? This is actually these, these stars, and you watch them tumbling and their triangulation out in space, and they come actually bleed through the clouds, okay? And you can't miss them here, and I'll pull it back a little bit there, and then... And another thing, too, if you watch this vehicle's route that it takes, you'll know that the, what we've seen before was actual light. And we want to thank Dutch, basically. Because, basically, he got me to look, look at the atmosphere there. Uh, we just, I'm not trying to use this logo or anything like that. I just basically had a big bravo for Dutch. He does some really good truth and on the Internet. So now, you see this star propagation and flopping in front of the sun? Okay. And you can see the clock and the time. And that's p pretty much more than likely what we have been seeing over in Hawaii in front of uh, the clocks over there. And you see all this stu this stuff flopping over there. And you just can't miss it. It's all flopping there. And there's been studies and st there's been studies and studies done to uh, show that these stars do affect these volcanoes. So It's just amazing. So you can go back and look at the pressure. And I'll give it like 1750 or something. I'll just take us to Worldwide Telescope and I'll take a look there, see if I get time to put that in there. Otherwise, I'll just throw this video up. kinds of stars flopping right over here. You can't miss them. All kinds of dark planets. Also up there. Here. All over the sky by the clock. Those are all asteroid belt or stars or planets between us and the sun. The suns. Supergiants. And one of the big bird holograms or something comes down too, because I really don't think that that's a bird that flew on there. If you go back in here, there'll be a a bird fly. You go back and watch the footage, and I really don't think it's a bird. I think it's another one of those holograms that we've seen down in Antarctica. And basically, it's a hologram of an object way up by the sun, the supergiants. It's not a bird. And I could be wrong. So blow it up, and it ends up coming up in this one over here. 
blow it up and see if it's a bird or not or if it's one of those holograms. So. You can see stars all over the place, plopping, spinning, dark stars, holograms down to Earth. So. These are all stars, dark planets spinning around. once again and if those are birds it sure looks like they get imposed on there it sure does look like birds now so whatever yeah maybe it is birds but we know that what we've seen down in Antarctica was holograms we've seen them paint these before too so could be birds. So this is Earth going through space. Right there. Okay, and that's our corner on our hemisphere. You know, this is our protection layers going through space. Okay, so. We rifle through space. Normally 60,000 miles an hour, now 66,000 miles an hour. <coughs> Yesterday, Japan. And then we got today. So there's going to be something like Mount St. Helens or something over there. Totally amazing. And it's very, they're keeping an eye on it because why would Google refresh a picture? Okay? And you'll see. That yesterday was yesterday because you will be able to see it in my video that I will show you. So, reloading this, and the truth will bleed very truthful because you'll see it in this one and the video that I'm doing right now. So, this one will be called Pressure Flop. I had a nice for last night. I might have had the longitude and latitude backwards last night. I'm going to find out what this is here at this time. Okay at that longitude latitude where this volcano is at. So currently 5.0. Now have Australia. And then 59 minutes GMT. Okay, right? Now it's 59 minutes GMT time. And then let's look at... So you can see it's nine hours difference because there's Japan time, okay? So there's nine hour difference between Japan and GMT, okay? So, remember time starts at the international timeline, okay? And then it's only 26 here, it's the 27th there. And then it's only an hour into the 27th in GMT in Europe, okay? So, Japan is nine hours ahead of us, okay? So I'm gonna look 15.56 up Japan time, okay? which is UTC minus 9 hours. So at 15.59 we minus the 9 hours and we get 8.59. Okay, that would be UTC time and that's what this would be up to date to. So we apply and we also enter the 26th. Okay, so we should be, yeah, this, we should have been above that volcano. And there's the sun. Okay. And then I guess basically you just seen for a quick instance of what would be IC 1449. So that'd be interesting to check that out. And then I'll put asteroid belts nearby. The sun and the supergiants in this galaxy are propagating. Because that's what's there. 
Facts, Dad, and Truth.